Okay, guys, now that we have discussed with our teams what the characteristics and properties a triangle has, and you have also discussed about the Pythagorean theorem, now we're going to go ahead and use the handout that I gave you. Now, right now I couldn't print it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. So for the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to go ahead and identify the following, the right angle, the hypotenuse, opposite, and the legs. Okay, so now can anybody tell me where the right angle is? This right angle, correct. So this is going to be the right angle. So you're going to go ahead and write it down. So why is this a right, uh, right angle? The right angle, remember guys, that the right angles are equal to 90 degrees. So what does it mean? It has the form of an L. So here, just for future reference, you see right here, the right angle has a perfectly shaped L form. So this is going to be the right angle, which tells you that this triangle, this whole triangle is going to be a right triangle. Okay, so now let's go ahead and identify the hypotenuse. So when you guys discuss it with your teams, what did you come up with? Yes, correct. So the hypotenuse is always to is always going to be on the opposite side of the right angle. So here we also found about two. So the hypotenuse is going to be the longest as well. Yes, the longest. side of the triangle and yes is going to be the opposite side of the right angle and finally what are the legs yes the legs are going to be the other two sides, so this and this side. So we are going to go ahead and call them the legs. Great job. So now that we have moved on this side, we are going to go ahead and do a quick practice. So let me just go ahead and change colors so you can go ahead and identify. Now that we know where the right angle is, where the hypotenuse is, and the opposite and the legs, we're going to identify the hypotenuse on these five triangles. So we can go ahead and start with the first one. So the first one, if it's easier for all of you, you can go ahead and identify the right angle first. So remember, the right angle is going to be a 90 degree angle. I apologize for that. And for future reference, it has an L shape. So if we look at this one, does this have the uh, figure or of an L shape? No. What about this one? It does not. So this angle, and look at it, it's a perfectly L angle. Well, that's right, at least. So this is going to be the right angle. Remember, hypotenuse is going to be on the opposite side. So this is going to be the hypotenuse. So I'm just going to go ahead and have it right there labeled. You're going to go ahead and do the same with the following four.